I'm with Stephen Robertson, commercial manager of NARIC. Stephen, um, NARIC is obviously doing quite a lot at uh, the moment with, in terms of offshore with the, um, the 99 megawatt test facility. At, uh, um, what are you hoping to, to get from, from this event? Well, what we're hoping to do at this event is to showcase the, um, both the onshore test facilities, which are pretty much coming to a completion now, and this exhibition is extremely important for us to attract companies to come and use the facilities we've got. Um, we've got a, 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 a two, two blade test facilities testing up to 100 metre blade te uh, length, and we've also got two drivetrain test facilities which were, are coming to completion. Um, and as you've already said, we have the, the 99 megawatt uh, offshore demonstration site, which is still in the process of being um, decided on who the potential clients are going to be for, for that. So that really is the, is, is the reason for us to be here. We are really close to becoming um, you know, a, a hub for accelerating offshore renewables. Mm -hmm. and in, in a wider context, looking at the, the UK industry, obviously there's, we don't, the UK doesn't have a, an, an OEM as such, but, um, but with you know you're so with the training and um, where do you see the UK bringing its next sort of wind industry professionals from, and where where is the, the UK industry at the moment? Well, we very very much class ourselves as um, a national centre, although we we are uh, trying to attract a lot of local companies. Um, I mean, for instance, next week we have three days, three open days, of which consist of an industry day where we are um, attracting developers, um, OEMs, uh, and, and tier one, tier two uh, suppliers to the company. We have um, we have day two, which is an R and D day, mm -hmm. and then we, we have day three, which is basically opening the doors to all of our S uh, local SMEs to try and uh, you know facilitate any kind of support that we can give to them so we're, we're trying to cover national international obviously you know we as you say we don't have any um, UK manufacturers of wind turbines but that's not going to stop us it's a unique facility um, where we're working right across the, the globe to attract customers um, which will also benefit local SMEs and in terms of the next generation of, of wind engineers in, in the UK I mean how, how is that sort of coming along do you think the UK needs to do more to bring mm. new uh, young people into the wind industry well I think uh, I'm actually a child of uh, I mean I was I was actually born in 1957 and so I went I went through an engineering apprenticeship um, in back in back in the day uh, local manufacturers were taking on you know 12 to 15 apprentices every year I'm not saying that we're ever going to get back to that but uh, there I, I would say that we have to really try and uh, make sure that the the facilities are there for for training for education and for to attract engineers into into the the renewable sector and I think you know in in general the Tyne and the Blythe are real very very good potentially logistically very good we've got a lot of uh, potential business coming to the to the north northeast offshore market so there's there's a lot of good things going on in the northeast excellent thank you very much